There we go. What's up, boys? <laughs> Left 20 minutes early, three minutes late. What do you mean 20 minutes early? <laughs> oh, I see. I, I gotta prepare myself. I gotta, you know, put on my cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> You cannot play yet, Soup. There's some instructive moments that I want to go through before uh, before we get into it here. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this the stream will also be ending an hour early because I want to watch metagame. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> for those of you who were for here, here yesterday, you may have remembered that I plugged the Smash documentary at the end of the stream. Watch it on stream, not allowed to. I think Ludwig is the only one who got the pass for, for obvious reasons. Yeah. Um, but le yesterday we watched it like together in Discord, which turned out really strange. I, I guess I want to save this for for a little bit once uh, like the notifications start going out, because it was it was a cool experience. We'll just we'll just talk a little bit while uh, people show up. Um, <clears throat> can you refresh real quick? I want to do a quick demonstration before before we get started. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see the boys here. It's a very odd experience being in the Sen server VC. I mean, it's literally the same thing as like a, a sub VC, to be honest, but <laughs> just slightly more clicky, I guess. It's a boxy. But the time for change in my Discord is uh, is now. We are finally going to be revising my theory of only like general chats. As much as I do like the, the general chat theory, once you get to a certain threshold of members, I think uh, it gets a little bit unmanageable. And I, I mentioned this a long time ago as well, when I was setting up the Discord the first time and decided to like try putting in more channels. Like, you know what? This isn't working, let's get rid of them. But when, when we get to a certain threshold of members, then we'll reinstate them. Uh, and <clears throat> yeah, it's time. It's a good tell it's too big. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think any, any Discord that's under like a thousand members it's better off having the general theory if you're willing to moderate the uh, the shitheads, the shit posters. <laughs> I don't know how to I don't know how to phrase it. I gotta say that reaction gifts are truly a travesty, and I wish I wish they didn't <laughs> exist. Yeah. That that guy in the Discord, whenever we were having a conversation about anything, he would go and look up a reaction gif that's related to the conversation, like. <laughs> English, do you speak it? Just just use your word. <laughs> Exclusively used by Facebook moms. This morning, I'm like, you know what? I, I've been being too nice to these people. I, I've been letting them get away with too much. I banned like six people <laughs> as soon as what I woke up. Fuck? I just sent them all. I'm like, you know what? I, I'm done. Get out of here. <laughs> you, you can do your stupid memes elsewhere. Talk about your horniness somewhere else. Let me go hand I noticed general. that last night. Like Dude, people it's... were talking about shit like that. It was strange. I swear everyone under the age of 15 is so horny. It's unbelievable. It's and, and I'm like, it's understandable. Like that's when puberty happens. But like, don't talk about it. I didn't right? talk about it. What's wrong with you? Like, why do you want to <laughs> let people know what you're into? In a public forum. In private, you know, do whatever, do whatever you want. But my goodness, my goodness. We're just talking for now. A stream cord. I, I appreciate that it actually does ping people, unlike the other bot, but it does take about 15 years to actually put out the ping. <laughs> <laughs> give you a list. We don't even have to be mods. We'll give you a list. <laughs> I mean, I read my Discord too much as it is, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what he did. The man was in like seventh grade. Like, come on, brother. Come on. It's not where you should be worried about. Whatever. Let me show you the pen spinning. Where's my camera? Do I have a pen on hand? At the end, of, of the, at the start of every morning, I wake up, pick up my Bali songs and pens off the floor, and then at the end of every day, they go back on the floor. Just over time, <laughs> <laughs> they just drop one by one. There you go. So we can bust. Oh fuck! Whatever. <laughs> I uh, stream elements. What do you mean? How did I do that? I hit the pen into the keyboard or open Stream Elements Discord. What the fuck? Can you pog straight at the camera? I will not be doing this. It has to be <laughs> a natural pog. Getting a winter Nautilus? I hate both of you. 
I hate you so much for showing me that the Winter Nautilus exists because that Bali song is like literally straight out of my dreams. <laughs> you know, it's got the white handle, the black blade, the really nice design that's like asymmetrical, and it's so sick, dude. And it's $300. Why is it 300 What the I hate fuck? it, bro. It's limited edition. It's they got the inked blade. <sighs> Just want to say love your streams. Keep streaming now. Keep watching. Thank you. Thank you. I think the the ping is finally out. So we could talk a little bit uh, about what, what's going on here. The ping is not out. Holy. What the fuck? What is wrong with this bot? Is it dead? I'm, I'm just going to do it myself. <laughs> Fine. I'll do it myself. It'll, it'll ping twice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry for the, the double ping that's inevitable, but I'm tired of waiting for this stupid bot to do its job. Um, Watch it send out as soon as you send it. <laughs> I swear to God. Copied? No, I have your, I have your Twitter handle copied. Hold on, where's where's a Chrome window that I can safely access? There it is. Safely access. <laughs> okay. I guarantee you in two seconds is about to ping everyone. <laughs> All right, whatever. Um, so b before we get started, I'm talking about bomb party. For, first of all, I think when I when when I was asked like, "What are you doing on stream today?" and I said, "I'm going to be teaching someone how to play bomb party," people were like, "Dude, like it's just a word game. You either know the, the game or you don't. It's not true. There's more to it than that. There there are like like I used to write essays about this game because it just like interested me, like how to think about words, like how how to place them around the prompt. There is, there is, trust me, trust me. I, I will beat all of you with words that you know. And the difference is that I know how to read the prompts, right? And it's it's a very simple concept, but like knowing all of like the tricks, knowing all of the tips. <clears throat> it's, okay, yeah. I also, I didn't even remember that I was wearing these because I bought these for my mom. who's doing some like, uh, she's trying to do audio work with her like cello piano duo. And funnily enough, I gave her audacity on like a Windows PC. I said, okay, here's the EQ app that I use. And I said, just go for it. You know, just keep changing the sliders until you sound, you find something that you like, <laughs> right? I come back down eight hours later. She's got like this super bassy muffled sound on the cello. She has like seven extra bands on the, uh, on the graph. Some of them are stacked up for no reason. It's a disaster. Uh, and then she's like, okay, how does it sound? I'm like, well, I mean, you're learning. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm like, you know what? Let me just uh, delete all of these. And then I got a fresh file, you know, no EQ. I did it. I like did my typical EQ stuff. And then she sent it out to her cello partner who is like notoriously very pernickety about um, how she wants her cello to sound in the sense that she doesn't like too much bass. She doesn't like having too much trouble. It's got to be a very like middle, just like smooth tone. And like whenever my mom sends her stuff, she's like, uh, it could be a little better in this aspect. And I managed to do it in like five minutes. And she's like, oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> so my mom spent eight hours t tweaking sliders for me to do that's it in so five sad. minutes. Yeah, I feel bad, but like <laughs> destroyed, I guess. But either way, she, 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 <laughs> she's uh, so mean. she's trying to do all that with like my old Audio Techna Technica M50X, which oh, is fine. God, no. They're not that bad. The problem is one of the uh, the cups is like fell off. So it's held together by like some duct tape, which is why <laughs> Just... I, bought, I bought these for her, but I wanted to test them out before, <laughs> before anything oh, happened. <laughs> How's uh, <clears throat> geography? Uh, surprisingly, I've maintained it fairly well. Like yesterday I had people quiz me. I thought I would fall apart way sooner. But only when, it was only one that was different from my flashcards. That's when I failed. Uh, it was like Burma, which was like Napita or whatever. You know, th that one was too much for me. Peru, Lima. We're, we're not going on this the route. capital of Bangladesh. Uh, Dhaka. No. That's right. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that one was so scary to me. I'm like, wait a minute, is that right? <laughs> 
Ecuador is keto. All right, uh, stop. Uh, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> the um, geography stream. I, I do want to reiterate one more time since now we have people here. Um, we are going to be ending stream at 5 p.m. EST because uh, I want to watch Metagame, which is a Smash documentary about like the dominant players. I watched it yesterday with some people in Discord, and like there were parts where I was legitimately tearing up from how good like that documentary is. Like the storylines, so good. Thank you. The, the storylines are, are their own thing, but like as a content creator who aspires to tell stories from mundane things it is like perfection like i don't even know how to describe it it's just so freaking good everything that would be in my head like this is how i would make a video if i had more editing skill and like more time it's insane it's just so so good and i love it to death right it's I got like such okay either way we're gonna be watching that at 5 p.m so that's when the stream's gonna be ending um yesterday it's, it was kind of weird i expected like we would just hang out in dc and talk together but what ended up happening was uh we all just sat there muted and like typed to each other in, in the vc mutes channel and that was kind of that was kind of comfy i'll be honest like it sounds weird as hell and people kept coming in and like <laughs> why is everyone muted but like it, it was kind of neat like knowing everyone is doing the same thing and we're just chilling and t typing to each other <laughs> it's nice but anyway yes metagame is different from the original doc the original documentary was like the start of the game until the um when did it end i think like the mango hbox era it was like the last storyline that it harped on and then talking yeah. about how uh evo happened now the bot sent the ping i'm sorry for the second ping how long ago was it? 15 minutes. Jesus Christ. Okay. <clears throat> but in reference to today's stream, now that I've gotten all the disclaimers, now that we've gotten the ping out there, uh, I want to teach Naku how to play Bomb Party. I'll, I'll be honest, this is kind of like a selfish stream. This is just something I want to do. And I feel like <laughs> there are there is a contingent of people that cares about this game. You may not believe it, but like, Revy is, is mentioned expressed interest in like, I want to be better at this game. And it's not just like, how many words do you know? Right? I feel like I can beat any linguist in this game because it's not about the, the vocabulary, it's about like the prompt solving ability. Okay? Do you still use workman? Sometimes. Um, <clears throat> but as like a quick demonstration, if I were to get into uh, into the game here, like I can solve all of these prompts. Okay, of course I get this one immediately. Oh, hi, hi, there you go. <laughs> all these prompts <laughs> with like very easy words. Like, oh my God, you really give me OPH, chlorophyll? Um, <laughs> What is, what are these prompts, man? I put it on mild. Yeah, the, the mild ones are fucking insane. Okay, either way, okay. Easy words, vent, describe, the, um, write. Okay, why why is this so what difficult? The fuck? We're putting it on normal. <clears throat> but e <laughs> either way, like none of those words were super obscure. It's really about how you see the prompts that allows me to get there. Like chlorophyll is not that obscure of a word, and the fact that I can see it so quick is because I know how to read the prompts very well. So really normal. Um, <clears throat> and what I mean by that, so if I put myself in a game here, we have the prompt NG, right? Uh, there are, is multiple ways to go about thinking about where this can fit in a word. Like that's what this is really all about. Where can this prompt fit within an English word? Um, and most people, when they see a prompt, they put it at the front, which you can do, but it's just like really obscure words like in Goltrum, right? Um, that's a fucking word. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> <laughs> but the two other ways. Um, the obvious one, you put it at the end. You add an I in front of it, I-N-G. You've opened up a whole like other host of words that you can put at the end of your prompt, right? You could do a pinguifying, or sing, or bearing. Like all, all of these words are now at your disposable. It's just thinking about it in a slightly different way. A lot of people will try to like force a word that ends in NG like song, which is not hard, but sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to just like see that right away. Right? Um, <clears throat> so you could also put this in the middle of the word. Right? So if we put it as like singular, it's, it's like smack dab in the middle. And it's a little bit more difficult to finesse these kinds of solves, right? Uh, this is a lot more of just like knowing the words. It's a more of like a verbal thing. Like 
being able to hear the NG in the word and I put it in a specific spot. But the more interesting one, and the one that's gonna help you a lot more in your actual games, is like prefixes. N is a really good example of this, because whenever your prompt um, starts with an N, right? You want to append either un or non in front of it. That's another way to go it. So you can do ungrown, I guess, or like non, uh, non gas. <laughs> I guess that doesn't work, but <laughs> that's the idea, right? You, you can really finesse these kinds of prompts using prefixes. And a lot of times when you have two consonants in a row, it's uh, a lot more difficult. Like NW, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people would trip up on, but it's really easy once you put an un in front of you, just do an unwashed or unworn. All right, so let's get both of us in the game here. Let's get a few more ideas for uh, like what you would do first. You don't have to type it right away. Just like t tell me what you're thinking once you get these prompts. So HA, um, what's your first solve for it? Having. Having. All right. So once again, you put that right at the start of the word. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and this one is a lot harder to put at the very end. But uh, you could also put it in the middle, right? You add, add a T in front, you all you have that world of like that or like thallium or you put a P in the in front of it and you have like phallus or uh, phage, right? <laughs> um, but we'll just type having for now. So now we have one with, this is not a great example. You can just type in whatever word that you have com comes to mind here. <laughs> and again, um, <clears throat> so you could put this one in the middle as well. You could do something like home ground. It doesn't work, but that, that idea of using compounds instead of just putting it as as mega. Honestly, I, yeah. I do that to a fall. I, I don't see it as like just in the front anymore. Um, so, okay, this one, um, <clears throat> just just toss me this prompt, I guess. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so for NES, you could have done any word that ended in N-E-S-S, -S, right? You could have done any plural verb that ends in N-E. So like, uh, fines. Um, or you could have added like UN in front of it or like unestimated, that kind of thing. Have so ARA, uh, oh. this one is a little bit harder because you can't really append uh, a prefix to it, but as a way to uh, or like identify this idea of adding prefixes in front of it, there is like a list of prefixes you can add when the prompt starts with a this one's a little bit harder things like m or n are a little bit easier but for a people have recognized you can try putting ultra or mega in front of it but you could just do like paradox haram yeah that would work too i was like just thinking of something with like para and para exactly if, if you can if you can see that prefix you can immediately append something to the end I'm trying to think of a different word with it though. I'll do um, paradigm or paralysis. God, um. So for IB, I is one that's gonna come up a lot. When you have I and then uh, multiple consonants or just like a consonant and then another letter, you can append anti to it. Um, Thank you, Reed, I appreciate it. Um, she's got a really good one. Anti-bomb? Antibiotics. Ooh, exactly. So that's what we like to see. All right, IBI, not the easiest prompt in the world, but once you recognize. So this is a great example for the un or non. Um, <laughs> this one, uh, there, there is a greater, like once you recognize, you, you append UN to the front of it, it becomes a little easier, but you still have to see words like unborn. Unboxing, exactly, oh, exactly, exactly. Um, this one, yeah. You can't really, uh, you can't really finesse, but you can put it at the front, and if it's a word itself, always, you know, give it a no, give it a try. Yeah, there you go. Um, <clears throat> I typically like you could start this one with non, or you can do uh, like potion, you put it at the very end, or monsoon. Um, I'll just do beacon for now. We're gonna keep going through these prompts until we find some more that are worth explaining. Um, <laughs> you good? You good? Nice. Trying to like put them at the middle because usually I just like yeah yeah go for the front. Um, so you could try putting this one at the end of a word, like add an extra O. Um, 
putting in the middle. Motivity. Trash Excel Curve. Hoot, loot, exactly, oh exactly. Okay, for IS, this is a great explanatory moment, right? IS is one that's gonna trip a lot of people up. Like you could just do Whisper, like that's it. The one if you can just see it, um, that's the 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 force way to do it. You know, if you're if you're good at bomb party, you can just see that. But if you have trouble just seeing these words, IS is the perfect opportunity to try miss or dis, right? So they could do displease or display or misplace. <gasps> That's a, that's a huge one. And especially prompts that start with S and then end or, and then followed by a consonant. That's going to be really difficult for a lot of people to see, um, until you recognize the prefix. So the really short prompts, I, I guess we should do three letter prompts. I think that's a better, it's more easy to see these kinds of, uh, kind of prefixes oh god um this one i don't oh nice nice the adding the extra letters actually harder to see than most people would would give it credit for oh fuck khan academy i don't know <laughs> <laughs> it works okay my solve for that one um when you have two consonants in a row you could try to make a compound word from it so a a word that ends in K, and then a word that starts with H-A would be something that you could do, like backhand. Sometimes you have to do that. The ones that are really, really hard, like um, LTW would be salt water, but it's difficult to see that, even though the word itself is not that obscure. Right? I don't understand that word. <laughs> <laughs> all good, all good. Damn it. All right, I'll write it back. So we start with a prompt with N. What do we do here? Um. There we go. There we go. See the the methods work. Already learning. <laughs> All right. Let's this go. this one I, I don't have any neat tricks for you. Prompts that start with an e followed by uh, a consonant, or it doesn't even have to be a consonant. But prompts that start with an e, you could do pre, re, or d. This this in this case it doesn't work because it's two consecutive consonants. But yeah, you just do this. Okay, here's a good example of a compound where you you have to, right? Um, so b o my my mind immediately goes to the word board because there's a lot of compounds that involve that like uh like skateboard but in this case it would be something like blackboard <gasps> or backbone yeah there you go um, ach not much i can do for you here just gotta <laughs> just gotta give it <clears throat> d-e-e -E. um deed Nice. So we put it at the end this time. Thinking about it, don't just try to do like alkahest. It's a word, but it's much harder to see than just like chalk or talk. Yeah. Um. um. Try not to go for like the obvious one. That's all right. That's um. all right. <clears throat> when we get hard prompts, that's when we can really make our money. But we'll just do a uh, retribution. I like that one. You know, it's, it's a hard way to put that in the middle. Um, so again, it starts with an N, followed by consonants. What do you do? NTR. <laughs> That's not Close. A word. Maybe untraded. There you go. Okay. This one, uh, you just got to know. Words that end in E-O-U-S, like righteous or juggling Every time I see that one, I use righteous. That's, that was my play as well. <clears throat> A-Z-Z, I got nothing for you. Contra bassoon, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so prompts to start with an O N. You can go for non, uh, but this one is pretty hard because I, I can't think of non ordinary. That doesn't really make sense. Non original, that's probably unoriginal, <laughs> right? Or you could start with mono or sono instead of just going for anything else. It's gonna go mono. Yep. <clears throat> uh, Miskeeping. <laughs> oh, okay, this oh. one is not easy uh, because there are no prefixes that I know of that start with L. I have one word, and this one is just like, I know. Already. Oh. Uh... Okay, so Y oh. is another one that it's good to know. Y and LY, you typically start with uh, poly. In this case, I don't think there's an easy one to see. I, I actually don't have one at all. Um, most definitely isn't a word, but 
polyrational. Yeah. It was a good attempt. See, you, you can kind of guess at words that you think might make sense and throw them out there. Yeah. And I think it'll work more often than you expect. But yes, you could do this with a, a compound as well. Um, I don't know, pay rate or pay raise, people are saying. I don't think it works. Uh, mine is just gyration. <laughs> poly ratio. I'll see if there's any poly words that are involved here. No. Okay, so when you have two consonants consecutively, the same consonant, followed by either I or E, um, you're going to end it with, in this case, S, S, E, D, or R, you know? When you, when you look at it like this, you can see that it has to be a verb that um, ends in S, like past, or impast, or missed, obsessed, exactly, exactly. E L E. So again, starts with E. You could do pre, re, or D, elephant. or elephant. In this case, <laughs> I'm gonna go for relearn, just because it fits more with the uh, the tactic here. It's gonna be about two hours, Mr. Ninjas. Just the basic word. That's fine. That's fine. That's that's all I got as well. Um. So again, if you see an I S, of course I could do like miscellaneous, but I could also do discontinue. That's. I think that's a little easier to see. <clears throat> Hoot. Um, so you could do anti because it starts with ti why not just disc you could do that as well is that not on is that not how you spell that you're missing a c in there <laughs> but to, to prove the anti thing right you can do anti-communism a bit of a, a bit of a reach but it's uh that sort of pattern recognition that'll really help you out <laughs> People not a fan of anti communism Fuck. You got it? You got it? I forget where you is. I got nothing for this. Fuck. We'll um. talk about getting extra lives as well in a moment. I feel like uh, that's a little bit harder. That's when you're uh, really comfortable with all of these prompts. O U V? <laughs> Nice, nice. <clears throat> um, words that end in M. This is like the first suffix we're talking about. You could end with M-E-N-T. Like, uh, this one would be detriment. Or merriment. I was thinking of Suvlakias as well. I just couldn't think of the whole world. Uh, <clears throat> nice, nice. Okay. A lot of people, you, they would try to do something like, like Getsis. You know, the, the Pokemon gym leader or whatever. <laughs> but you probably want to do this in like compound form. right? Separate the two halves of this prompt. A word that ends in G. And then a word that starts with uh, H-E. So, second half would be head. See if you can find something. Just kind of throw adjectives that start with uh, that end in G. And add head. Let's see. Big head. There you go. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, the God, heads, um... they never fail. Um, I was, I'm thinking of scuppernong. I don't think that one's very easy. <laughs> I, I can't think of a miss or dis word, but that's another example of where you scrumptious. You're missing an R there in the prompt. Okay, so... This is not a great example for using this prefix, but it does make sense with this particular prompt, right? Uh, sometimes you're going to be have to, you're going to have to do this, especially if it ends in ns. But uh, words that end in, or sorry, prompts that end in s, and then immediately are followed by a uh, consonant. You would start with trans, so like transparent for nsp, translucent for nslu. There you go, there you go. <laughs> um, okay, prompts that end in iz. Almost always, you're going to do I-Z-E. So, like, energize is the only one I have for this. Strategize, that kind of stuff. Dulcimer. Um, yeah, demythologizing. Putting it in the middle. I'm going to do another discontinue. Or you could do transcontinental to demonstrate the, the S theory. Okay, so most people are probably going to go for words like Nelson. But if you see prompts ending in E-L-Y, you can sometimes find adverbs that work with it, right? So 
in this case, E-L-Y would be like, finally, or, uh, lonely. Um. Snell. <laughs> you know, I see everyone is trying to just make words uh, straight up from the prompt instead of going for like the adverbs or prefixes, suffixes. I think it's a lot harder. And you're really making your, give yourself do extra work having to like force that out. Um, project. I think someone was trying to feed me words through Discord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really good, actually. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can go for that. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, so this is another good teachable moment. T is a, a one that comes up so much and will wipe lobbies, like almost every time. There are a staggering amount of words that start with out, right? In this case, you would do outage, uh, but something like TJU, I'm pretty sure would kill everyone in the chat right now, but it's something like out jump, you know? To outdo someone at some specific skill, like outfly, you know? <laughs> but in this case, it would just be outage. Typically, it's more relevant when it's uh, T and then another consonant, because you have to start it with another word there. But you could just do like stagger here, but I'll do outage. Um, Hopefully it comes up again, and I can, I can demonstrate that to a bit more efficiently. So I'm going to use the E in the front of this prompt to do reattack. Oh, fuck. So remember that any ising word, like digitizing, could be also in the British spelling as well. So it'd be like... Yeah, that? yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So remember, when a prompt starts with S, what do we do, boys? And it's immediately we... followed by a consonant. This is a hard prompt unless you know the, the prefix nonsense. Have an idea for this. Misforging. Nice try. But that, that's that's what we like to Fuck. see. Dismiss and what else? Dismiss and... Heck you, Daft. Stop cheating. Deforestation? You mean like disforestation? But yes, it, it's <gasps> dis, miss, and trans. Which transform. Really easy. Once you see that, like trans fo, like it's second nature at that point. Um, okay, prompts that end in i. I I'm surprised we haven't seen one of these yet. You usually want to uh, end it in ing. So in this case, it could be like filing. Um, <laughs> or like riling or biling, that kind of stuff. Spelling is also going to be a concern. Like that—that that is one element of the game you can't really teach. Mm, oh, I didn't put an ing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, again, prompts that start with I could do like try, by, or anti, or and prompts that start with I O could you could see as like radio or bio. So in this case, biochemistry. Right. That one's a little bit rarer, and it's something you're just gonna have to try to hope you can finesse. <laughs> There's a lot of words that uh. <clears throat> like start with bio or radio, you know. But it, it's a great demonstration of like the two different ways to look at the prompt: either having I start that prefix or I O start the prefix. I don't think. Hold on, heliocentric. <laughs> That's another way to do it. So this one, you would do any word that ends in T I O N. There you go, notion. Um, I got I got no hints for this one. Let's just, just kind of force it. Um. So again, any prompt that ends in I, you want to try adding ing first. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> the peering for that one. Of course, you could also just do something like Aria. MPE, two consonants and then a a vowel. In this case, E. You'd want to end it with like a past tense verb, so like jumped or amped. I got nothing for that one. That's fine. That's fine. It's good practice to like try putting all of your solves at the end of the word or in the middle of the word because it gets you to think about things differently. 
Uh, you just drop the oh, O and you get it. There you go. <clears throat> uh, bin. You, I could do binomial, you throw it at the front. I could do uh, like slobbing, put it in the middle, or just, just bin. <laughs> <laughs> ATI. So again, ING at the end. There we go. Uh, I could use L to add a LY at the end of this one, but this one's kind of hard, so I'm just going to do world. I don't know, jurily. <laughs> poorly, poorly. That makes way more sense. RIF. So IF, at the end of your prompts, um, you could turn that into IFY. So purify in this case makes sense for me. This one, I got nothing for you. Goodbye. <laughs> You could just try random words like Kate and see if it works. Or cat would work, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna do Goliath. I got I got no hints. Oh fuck. I don't know this one at all. KTS? So you are gonna occasionally run into uh prompts where you just need to know the one word that solves it. Tisk tisking. Oh, that's so cool actually. What the fuck? <laughs> Nice, added the N for, or sorry, use the N to add a un. You love to see it. So M-I, M-I, you could use for semi. Like there's a lot of prefixes that end in I. In this case, like semi nudity would work. <laughs> um, oh. Prompts that end in E, you can end in E-D or E-R. Like, uh, you know, verbs. Someone who eats or someone who hates or rates. <clears throat> I'm sure there's more that I haven't gotten to yet. We haven't gotten to circum. Prompts that no. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so again, this one is gonna be hard unless you try making it into uh, a adverb, l y, or you could do l i k e, like something like, like deer like or less less. So you could do joyless. I'm gonna do. Uh, oh, that's fine. <laughs> Boy like would probably work. No, never mind. Nope. Unlucky, unlucky. Yeah, gargoyle is the hard solve. But yes, prompts that end in L. Less like and, and L Y are, are your three options. I'll do one more of just uh trying to go through these prompts, see what we got. So un okay, that works too. Okay, remember IS can also turn into ISE. For like uh, the British version of IZE, the British. Oh, oh fuck! You had it. You had it. Nice. Okay, so IB and AB are typically able words. So you could do like sensible or permissible. For IB, that's a little bit harder. A B L E is a lot easier. It's a lot more like compound type words with able in it. Ism is like a thousand ism words, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna do void or oh, steroid. Nice. Um, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I'm the British because the stupid Americans threw the tea in the ocean. <laughs> nice, nice. You have anything for this? Think of it at the end of a word. You got it. You got it. Ah. Oh. So this kind of sound, like the ch. Can, can you can hear it in like catch or kvetch <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. or you could do a uh, you could start it with out i should have done that i would have been way better for teaching like out cheese or something like that you know oh, <laughs> um or bitch yeah exactly exactly <laughs> Funny word. Uh, reboard. Um. 
You know, sometimes the play is just to put it at the front. Could start it with like deteriorate Fuck. or put it at the end for like cadet or bidet. Yeah. I'm bad at can I can I do it anything in the middle? Um like side something. Side track, side track, side track day. Indent. <laughs> uh, so for this one, the S could be used for a plural or as N E S S. In this one, you just obviously write cats and jammer. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Sidetrack. Isn't that a Vinxis song? I can't remember. It's past my time. K E. So remember, uh, when it ends in an E, what do you do? Two two consonants and then an E. Um. Um, come on, you got this. So when a prompt ends in an I, what do you do? I put I N G at the yes, end. Yes, yes. So when it ends in an E, what do you do? Um, very similar, very similar maneuver. Put an N at the end of it. That's one way. <gasps> Chicken. Let's go. <laughs> uh, but with E, you could do E D or E R. Those are the typical mm. ways. So you could do like fucked, you know, or fucker. <laughs> <laughs> so another example of seeing I N as like blowing instead of just win. It's all about having like flexibility. All right, we got an I at the end of the prompt. Um. No. That would work. That's two L's. You're wiling. Oh, wiling. <laughs> <laughs> um, side. Nice. Uh, I'm going to use the IN for ING. This one is... I just kind of have to do it. <laughs> uh, it's a piece of feminine clothing. On the low... Yep, yep. Okay, this is a good example for a bull, right? When the prompt ends in A, and you have two consonants in front of it, you could do a attackable, for example. Sometimes you're gonna have to find those a bull words, and there's more than you would expect. So for this one, you could do a like callable or fillable, but collaboration is a six all. Um, this one, I got, I got nothing, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> and you could do harp. I was just thinking that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm I think thinking of sword. Yep, yep. I actually, I'm thinking of like, sword -like maybe. Password. password. Oh. Put it in the middle. This game's called Bomb Party. We'll play it in a moment. I'll just like talk and uh, we'll have everyone join in in a moment. Okay. So, again, the the prompts that end or start in A, you could try stuff like extra or ultra, but I can't think of anything extra like. Motherly, no, it doesn't make any sense. So uh, we'll just we'll just say glamour. Doesn't always work, but it, it's really important to recognize when it does work. Uh, all right, ends in I. What do we do? Put I and put ng at the end of the all right, I. I'm, I'm tossing you with this prompt. Um. <sighs> Try adding another vowel in front of the uh, a. So if it ended in like E A L I N G, you could do something like healing. Oh, funny word. <laughs> um. Oh fuck. Okay, okay. It this one can end in I N G, but I can only think of one word that it actually works with. Um, it is a a sport, I suppose. Hi. Okay, that works too. I was thinking biking. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, there you go. Well done. Oh, it's striking as well, nice. Um, Preempting. It's probably easier to do like caption. Fuck. We do, we do it again, add, add another vowel, add another vowel. Um. Yeah, O-A-T, E-A-T. Oating, fuck, <laughs> Oating. Yes, there we go, there we go. Sometimes you know, just type it out and see if it something comes to you. It's like when people on like Scrabble games just rearrange their tiles. It doesn't do anything, but sometimes it might help. Nice.
funny word. <laughs> okay, um, ER is actually a really good one. For you could have done like overbite or like uh, over under something. You know, a lot, a lot of prompts will have that kind of um, format. This one is actually really good. I really like this prompt because I feel like most people see that SS as one like unit. Like that's going to be the first half of your word, but you don't have to. You could see S as where the prefix ends and ST as where the next word starts. So the prefix, let's say it's miss. I'm giving you a second chance. So, um... Miss ST something. What's a word that starts with ST and it's a verb? This probably is the word. Fuck. <laughs> I don't think so. Mistaken? <laughs> nah. No, 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 no. You gotta start Definitely the next us. word with uh, ST. Um... Alright. Anyone, anyone have something? Miss strike? Maybe. Miss state? Miss striking, yeah. Does that work? Miss stricken? Oh, okay, okay, I see you. I was thinking misstep. I feel like that's the easiest one. You could have also done it with like pass or cross, probably. Is there anything with cross T? There's two S's in the prompt read. Cross talk. It's a good word. He passes nothing. All right, all right. Let's let's get some more people in here. Um, we'll do one game where I kind of coach you through the prompts if possible. I'm gonna give us eight seconds to respond to them. Um, the bot is still broken for whatever reason. I'm just gonna dump a bunch of links in chat. But here we go. The very secretive link. <laughs> yep, yep. No one ever would guess the actual link. Oh my God, so many people. All right, but we win these. We win these. Are we gonna do four lives max? Three lives starting, normal prompts, eight second bomb timer, prompt changes after three deaths. So boys, try to apply what's going on here. What I, what I have kind of uh, demonstrated thus far. I think that, you know, being flexible with how you read these prompts is how you're gonna survive. Alpha, no, 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 we, we got We got bigger fish to fry right now. Game is a lot more straight. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's it's way more about reading the prompts than actually knowing the words. Of course, at some on some level, you just have to remember the words like tisk tisk, right? <laughs> but it's it's rare. I didn't even talk about gaining extra lives, which has a whole meta in it of itself. But I feel like once you recognize like all these different ways to read the prompts, like oh, if I end it in ing, I can squeeze out like a Q, you know, get get those extra letters. You're not just constantly trying to stay alive by forcing all of these solves as soon as possible. Overlay's covering the game. Thank you. Thank you so much. I set it up for two people, uh, so obviously it's not going to work with a million. <laughs> Illicitly is here too. Wow. Oh, it's Girk now. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you. Last time when we we were here, uh, we got top two. I don't know if we're gonna do that again, but we're gonna give it the old college try. First time I've played. Man, doesn't Gurk have work to do? True. Do your physics. <laughs> what happened to that? All right, we're gonna do. A, we're gonna wait just a few more seconds here for anyone else who's trying to get in. I'll drop some more links. I'm glad to see people. Like, we've at least got 27 people watching. <laughs> More than I expected. <laughs> but Girk won't give up a chance to prove he's better than people. True, that's a good point. Uh, unrelated to um, what we were doing right now is that I want to do some reform to my Discord. And I'm thinking, like, it's about time I start adding more channels. What kind of channels should we add? You know, we got plenty of time to like not play the game. Okay, we got we got time. Um, I obviously I'm, I'm gonna try to get the main topics of conversation that typically happen, like uh, typing. Yeah, let's just butterfly that. That's knives. A common one. Pen spinning. Um, what else do I do? Speed cubing is not that common. What other nerd shit have I picked up? <laughs> Origami, that's that's a good one as well. Number four, 
Mostly because I just want people to talk about origami. <laughs> So those are the four that I have. Don't go overboard. I agree. I agree. I do feel like... Oh, exercise is a good one. I don't know, though. Is it is it worth a channel? Or should that belong, like, still in general? Delete the... the mouse and keyboards. Ooh, like technology. Ooh. I don't know. That's a really common one, too. Only food channel. I don't know. Food channel is kind of a meme. All right. So you can do over for ER. Over or under. Um, or you can just solve it straight up. F. I got nothing. Unnerving. Unnerving. Yes. That's Ner nervous one. was the, uh, the, e the easiest one for just forcing it. You gotta do like undervalue or like overvolt maybe. <laughs> blah blah, I type fast. It is a little frustrating at times, but there's like several types of flexing that goes on in my Discord, which I'm trying to discourage to some extent, right? I, I, I hate, hate, hate talk people flexing about O's. Right, because it's the most <sighs> baseless type of flexing that happens in the Discord, out of out of all the types. I okay. Uh, let me try to rank the most annoying ones. I don't mind people flexing about typing that much, because um, at least it's like numerical. There's kind of depth to improving at it, and it's like something you need a lot of dedication to get good at. Which is not to say that other skills don't, but I. Don't mind people flexing about like random skills like uh, like pen spinning or bali song because it's it's whatever people don't really care that much. <laughs> but the ones that get me, os, it's so bad because of the humble brag culture, the rank snobbery. Over it looks a little jank, does it? Oh yeah, it's it's extending over. Thank you. I thought it was a layer below, but I appreciate that. Whatever, we'll just cut off some hearts from the top. But yes, rank snobbing. Star rating is so, so bad. It's, it's so frustrating. Like, yeah, dude, I play seven star maps. It's not a big deal. I could kind of pass eight star maps on like in my sleep. Um, Not even accounting for the fact that there's like many types of difficulty. Awful, awful, awful. And the worst part is that no one backs up their claims. No one's posting scores of like their FCs. No one's posting live plays. You know, it's all just like, I'm good. And this is my defense is that I'm just going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so so annoying uh yes cps is another huge one that's so stupid to me I'm, I'm sorry for all of the minecraft pvp fans that like that version of pvp when it's about how fast you can click obviously there's more to it than that but in the discussions that come up about minecraft pvp it always descends into like check out my cps score on like this tiger you know website whatever, <laughs> whatever it is you know what i'm talking about you've seen it a million yeah. times from these clowns just dumping it Dude, look at the look at the solve from Gurk. Holy shit. What a student. Non-ionizing for NIO. Whew. I'm so bad. I only got S-Rank on Scarlet Rose. I wish people would post that, but they don't. They only talk about, like, yeah, I can play eight-star maps, no problem. Or, like, do you know that I won Mist Airman? And then you ask for screenshots and they don't exist because it didn't happen. Um... <clears throat> Let's see what else. Reaction time. Dude, that is the worst one. Whenever someone posts a reaction time score, it always descends into people just like guessing when it's going to show up. <laughs> it's so stupid. And when it's not about that, it's just people posting the like 180 MS scores. Like, congrats, dude. You want 1v1? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I don't have one for this. It's a compound, obviously. Where that ends in P, where that starts with CH. You I have one because you're a cheater, Daft. Upcharge. Ooh, that's so good. How does that not work? Doesn't work. Yeah, P can't be used to throw up in front of a word, like uh, up flow or up surge, something like that. But the commands don't work right now. Oh, uh, Nunes, you can hop in here. I pra actually practiced my reaction time, but people cheated anyways. Damn. You really practice the reaction time. That's crazy. Poop shoot? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that works? Hopefully not. Maybe up shoot would work. Not to brag, but I have 6.8 CPS. <laughs> up chain? Maybe, maybe. This is a hard one for sure, for sure. But it's all right. Now that you've mastered the game, you'll never lose a life again. Um, what, what, what other things do people flex about? Chess happens from time to time. 
in like the really lame ways because they don't talk about elo and it just happens like so casually like this is a really cool chess puzzle that i watched like yeah i typically just watch gms in my free time <laughs> <laughs> you know chess has that kind of a uh, connotation to it of like intelligence and people just like talking about the fact that they play it stepchild dude that i'm actually throwing at my own game p as step is actually really common and i didn't see it o is a hard one uh, as the start of a prompt you could do like nano or micro microphone will be a good one macro sometimes um neuro Chess is very elitist, but it's also really fun. Like all, all of these skills that I've mentioned, aside from maybe CPS, I think are, are really cool and have a lot of depth. Um, but it just doesn't tend to come up that way. Ophelia. <laughs> <laughs> Trophy, nice. Trophy. Nice. Oh, I also forgot that if you start with O, sometimes you can do pro. I think this one doesn't work. Profit actually would work. But like O, J, uh, E. You do project cps is just learning butterfly clicking the fact that people have these terms for butterfly clicking and like jitter clicking is actually really funny to me right it's, i mean like it's it's used in different situations as well i suppose but the butterfly clicking one is the one that really makes me laugh every time because literally all it is is just using two fingers for the same mouse button right uh and People talk about it like it's some ancient technique that they discovered in like the some Mayan text that they've mastered <laughs> over a hundred years. Oh my fucking what the what is that? He threw out a, a meme word. Butterfly clicking 20 CPS is re it's really easy but not useful at all. I don't know why only I use it. I mean someone was saying that it was banned on servers, which is so funny to me. <laughs> You know what drag clicking is? I don't. I know that my mouse is good for it, and that's about it. Um, that that one sounds like it has a little bit more of like interesting mechanics to it. Does it involve a piece of tape? What's your favorite chess opening? I don't know enough about chess to have a favorite opening. I know a few of them offhand. I don't even know what they are, to be honest. <clears throat> I drag click, you need sticky area. Jason, I just stopped the two O's flexes in general. Did you ban them? He wasn't. Oh, you talked to both of them? <laughs> you just added them? <laughs> oh, that's brutal. That's brutal. <laughs> Holy shit. So this one, I could end an ING. Uh, and I think I will. I think efficient. Mm. It's easy peasy. Uh, just live. Yeah, eight seconds. Nice, 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 nice. Just to live. <laughs> Just live for it. <laughs> E4, can you do? For Queen's Gambit. I do love the ridiculous names that everyone, or like all of the openings have. And like when you watch uh, like any game, it tells you what the name of it is. Like the Elephant Gambit. <laughs> Things like that. Or like some obscure variation with a name you've never heard of. <laughs> you slide your finger across the mouse from top to bottom while putting pressure so you click really fast. Yeah, okay. That's that's pretty much what I thought it was. It's a neat idea. At, at least it, it is more unconventional than just using both fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Sill has kind of uh, turned a new leaf, though. You know, I, I will agree that he was one of the worst defenders of the Os flexing era that happened over the past few weeks. But after he uh, he played with us in Diabotical, kind of got humbled. He's doing better now. A M I goes for Amino again. I N G could do flaming, beaming. Um, I think that's basically it that happens within uh, within my community. I can't think of anything else. 
We have we had GPA flexing yesterday, like high school GPA, and that one made me want to die. Like that one was so bad. <laughs> I brought up Gurk's GPA as a joke, and then people were like, just like adding each other. What's your GPA, bro? I have the highest possible GPA. You're like, God, just shut up. <laughs> I did make it happen. I was joking, bro. I don't understand. I'm like, no one cares. I don't even know what GPA means. Oh, right. It's it's like a like a accumulation of your grades i flex my yaw settings that kind of thing used to frustrate me too there was a guy in the discord that was like um he picked up colmac and was like shitting on qwerty but like didn't actually put the time into getting better at it he picked up he was using windows mouse excel because he wanted to be quirky and different and i just like despise that to an unbelievable degree <laughs> right it's like people who tell me to swap my left and right hands to play games like to become more ambidextrous or something like that it's like uh there's no point right it i i don't care about alternate techniques just because they're worse and different i care about them because they are potentially better People flexing Kovac scores though? It doesn't happen. No one's good at Kovac. <laughs> <laughs> Doors is the only one, and like, except for the people in our community that were, went against each other. Which was cool. I, I like that era of like co internal competition. And Doors is just like good at the game, so I, I respect him putting put in the scores. What is good flexing? Probably programming. I feel like when I talk about flexing, it mostly Here's a good example of I well at the I L Y at the start of a prompt. Polymer. Is, yes, poly M. Um, <laughs> the Yoshi. <laughs> nice, nice. Um. Uh, there, there was a guy in the in my Discord that was like the perfect example of that alternate technique thing. Is that whenever we would bring up Os, he would say like. Oh man, that reminds me. I gotta go past that Dragon Force map with with mouse, and then he would add uh, on like, but not mouse with keyboard, mouse only because I don't use the keyboard. Like, dude, like, if you're gonna flex, at least be incredibly good with this alternate technique. Like, you're just limiting yourself because so you can say that you use this technique. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I'm just ranting about people in the Discord now. <laughs> that's, what, that's how you tell. You can tell I spend too much time there. Food flexing food channel, please. Sell me on the food channel, because I feel like it's it's gonna be used by about four people, maybe maybe less. Like Woogie would use it, and I, I would like to see that. Maybe that's enough. I guess like talking about like food in general, like things that people like, things people want to make. I suppose. Things that people do make. The reason I'm so put off by it is that whenever. When it came by last time, we used to have a food channel, and two of the most common things that were posted was this one guy posting stock images of food <laughs> every single day, and another guy that would post like sandwiches that he made or like that his mom made for him. Oh, which is like that's sweet. Really, you want you want to post your peanut butter and jelly sandwich for the world to see? <laughs> like this is this is what we've come to. Woogie, Lauren, I would like to get back into cooking. Is that justified for me? Maybe. You know, I, I like I like Woogie. I like Lariners. But a whole channel for those two people? Maybe it's worth it. I'd like to see them again, I suppose. You can just ban the stock image people. That's true. I would post food. I'm worried about Dowdo, you know? Because on one hand, I think he legitimately wants some of these channels. But I could also see him, like doing exactly what I don't want them to be used for as a joke. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. For, for an example of uh, using up with P at the front of the prompt, you could have done like upholstery. Obviously a lot harder than the word that you picked, but just another example of P being useful. I'm wholesome now, I've turned a new leaf. You said STFU to me like four times in this one day. You made bacon I thought of eggs? another good one for uh, PHO. Do it. Phobia. Ooh. Like anything ending with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Martial arts channel. So there comes a time in which we have to like determine, is this skill talked enough about to warrant its own channel? And 
there's not that many. Like I, I think Mars Lurch is cool. Like I'm I'm all for it. I think um like speed cubing is cool, but I, I don't think it's talked enough about to actually have its own channel. And I suppose like general will still exist, or at least one of them will still exist. Uh and if we find that it's very prominent, and then we can always do it later, I suppose. And then there's, there's the big question. The, probably the biggest question of them all. Do we add an anime channel? That will be used so much. N-O. Oh, yes. No, 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 no. Get that shit out. No. Stop. No anime channel. We do not need more de degeneracy. <laughs> I would be the god of the anime channel. It would get anime out of general. I honestly, like, this is not a hot take. I don't know why I'm saying this as if I'm about to say, like, I'm about to defend something terrible, but, like, I think anime is pretty okay. <laughs> I think it's good. I think most of us do. It's just the people that we don't like. Yeah. The people that commit their entire personas to, like, cat girls. If you make an anime channel, I will leave the community. I like anime, but no. Cat girls, holy shit. I'll flex my mail and bully the shit out of everyone. Good. Nice. Jeopardy is a great solve. If you if you can spell it. Geopodies. It's a hard word to spell. I'll give you that much. But you got the hard part already. Geo is a good... Yeah, geophysics. What the heck? He's crazy. There is some... Pal I hate ultimatums. I'll be honest. I, I've, I've had just one too many of those in my day. <laughs> but I, I know you're joking. Um... But, but that is the other way to think about creation of channels, is that it gets shit out of general. What's funny is that I feel like maybe 80% of the people... Oh, no! I'm dead. It's not good, it's not good. 80% uh, of the people that talk in the general channel have an anime avatar. But they also would be staunchly against the anime channel. What if we ban all the anime PFP guys? That's like 90% of the Discord. <laughs> Uwu channel? Oh, fuck. I forgot about that one. You don't have one? Does my avatar count as anime? No. Fake silence. You are the epitome of the anime weeb. Um, I, I kind of want to have channels for specific games that we talk about a lot and also have like lfg kind of kind of thing you know oh shit oh guys left the room <laughs> unlucky hey guys i'm the host now <laughs> god dang it i have to log in as well hold on i i smacked my mouse to the left it rotated 180 degrees hit my bali song directly in the back button that's on the side of my mouse and that's why <laughs> i refreshed are you Sick. able to rebind them I mean, I like it. <laughs> it's just, in this one case, it was quite problematic, huh? <laughs> Whatever. I'm over it. Um, so, yeah, let me, let me log in real quick. <laughs> All right. C can you pass me host? How do I do that? Click on my name. Transfer host. Did I do it right? There, there you go. go. There you go. Remember, I clicked it. And remember, Gurk. Sure? I clicked. Are you sure? And Ends in A. You do A B L E. Variable. The game wasn't showing on your. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I gotta fix it now. What's the link to the room? We'll do probably one more game uh, after this, in which I can have a chance to play. <laughs> I had the stream muted. That's fine. That's fine. Ooh, F I. There are a surprising amount of fish. That doesn't work, brother. But yes, pumps that start in FI, or sorry, end in FI. Like crayfish, probably grayfish, stuff like that. But yeah, let's talk about different games that we want to have channels for. I don't want to do the typical thing of like, first person shooters, strategy games, RTSs. Yeah. I hope Heroic's not here, because that's exactly what his channel is set up as. <laughs> um, is the finished channel- off, like, like game-based channels like if you separate them by game then there'd there'd be like a couple that are just extremely inactive like right right that's the one that i think of off the bat is like diabolical i think that'll die out after like a few days 
like a conversation in there and it'd just be like posting like random stuff related to the game every few days. So that's how you really feel, huh? No, that's not. <laughs> Diabotical article has a lifespan of about two days and it's dead. It's whatever. I mean, it's some of your favorite game right now, but it's, it's fine. Customs once a month? We play customs like twice a week, if not more. You're gonna make me cry. Heck you not. How could you? I'm joking. I'm joking. It's fine. It's fine. But I do think... Like, do we have separate channels for LFG and conversation about the games? This one isn't like... Prompts the N and U. You can add up sometimes. This one is wiki up. I don't think anyone's gonna get that one. <laughs> I don't know what a wiki up is, to be honest. I just know it exists. <laughs> He's done it. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I'm gonna look this up. Fuck. You never answer my question? The weekly game nights? I mean, it'd be neat. It'd be neat. Maybe. We'll consider it. Let's let's set up the channels first, and then we'll see what happens. I, I'll be honest. When I played Blade and Soul, almost everyone appointed an advisor that did like most of the work for you like the clan leaders they would always appoint someone to do like the like the admin work right i didn't trust anyone with my precious spreadsheets i did so much work every single week to like add roles to people manually for people that were in specific raid groups and like edit the spreadsheets put out these announcements in the channels i'm a bit of a control freak when it comes to organization because i just don't trust people to do it right uh, and that was proven true when the Minecraft server existed, which was just an absolute shit show. <laughs> but maybe, maybe. This one's also very hard. Uh, it's just gonna be a compound. I don't know any of, like, obvious ones. Nah, I, I have to look that one up. G-Y-E. Pugia. Gil. Never mind, never mind. It's just stupid. <laughs> I mean, I have to send everything through so you can send out pings and shit, so you get to micro me with it too. We'll see, we'll see. I, I think I want to do game specific pings for anything pickup related. So, obviously, Diabotical. I think Apex is reasonable for people who want people to play with. Um, what else we got? Bomb Party? Maybe? Would anyone care enough about Bomb Party to have like an LFG channel for it? Like, do people like this game enough where there's times when they want to play it and then there's just no one doing it? Kovacs? Do we have a Kovacs channel? That's a tough one, actually. I feel like no one talks about Kovacs, even though it's my most viewed video. <laughs> I'm thinking of like... Miss Yearn Cross Yearly? I don't know. This is a tough one, too. This could be a word in itself as well, like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's... When in doubt, just type the problem. Just type the problem, yeah. Aim lab channel, Kovacs would lead to more flexing. I'm okay with Kovacs flexing, honestly. Because at least it's a difficult thing to get good at. I know we have free content farm with community events and he's questioning it. Discord gets noisy. I'll say that I'm much. Saving my friend from general chat real quick. <laughs> I like bomb party, but no one is yeah. ever playing and it's boring. It's oh lil. <laughs> you gave a friend a, a sub to your friend just to get them out of general? God, yeah. <laughs> Love to see it. Love to see it. I mean, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I was trying to, to be honest, has more conversations about O's than any other game. <sighs> it's a tough one for me. O's flexing gives me a, a, a pain deep in my heart. Pinka plays Rocket League with Andres. <laughs> Rocket League channel? Mm, I don't think um, so. I don't think so. It's too, too infrequent. Yeah. Most channel will probably get rid of a lot of the shit posting in general. Probably. Probably. That might actually be really good. That was channel. And I do like to talk like when people who actually know the game come by and we just like gush about old players and mappers, I'm like, okay, <laughs> this, this is pretty good. <laughs> Are we playing Rocket League? <sighs> Man. Let me play melee first and then we'll talk. <laughs> Rary's popping off right now. He's learned well. What? Uh, no. 
It's it's a type of game in which you have a board of three by three squares and you put X's and O's on it. Is he listening? He's just he's just throwing words. Lactation, nice try. Backtrack, really good solve. Do mine, do mine. You gotta, gotta eat, gotta eat. There's another K in there. Let's go, let's go. Yes! He did it. He did it. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's a really good one. Uh, yeah, that's probably fair, Emmy. Ghastly. He's gonna do it because I cheated for him. Let's no! go. All right, one more game. Actually, maybe more than one, depending on how long uh, until meta game. Oh, Mr. Mr. Daniel is here as well. We're gonna have to cut the game short because otherwise we're gonna play for 15 years, unless I DC again. <clears throat> Fitness channel. That's that's a good question. Uh, it comes up sometimes. I, I guess it'd probably motivate people to get into it. Yeah, I mean, I, I suppose. I, I like talking about fitness. I've been watching more fitness content on, on YouTube as well. Like uh, Magnus Mitbo and Juji and Tom. Surprisingly good videos. I think they're pretty well put together. <laughs> Just to see fakes gains. True, true. So fake, he DM'd me like last week saying like, hey man, I'm tired of being so weak. I want to start exercising. Like, hell yeah. You know, here's what you can do with calisthenics. Here's how you can get into it without having to go to a gym. And like three days ago, he decided, or maybe more than that, he decided to sign up for his local gym. Yo. Which was which is great. And then he tells me, like, okay, today's the first leg day. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> I know what's gonna happen. Um And yeah, he actually almost didn't make it to class yesterday because his legs were in so much pain. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Andres. Is he still going like through with the exercise? Give it to Miniko. Ooh. Uh, I think so. Yeah, he still wants to keep going. That's what you love to see. Good. Like day, best day. You're you're actually out of your mind. I forced Fake to never give up on Balasong. Really? Yeah. Leg day is best day. He bought a Squiddy because of me. Oh, I said nice. never give up on it. <laughs> <laughs> Made him promise me. Oh, this one's rough. Uh, How was that for that? Blowsy, I think might work as well. That's crazy that you guys enjoy it so much. I enjoy deadlifting. I don't mind squatting. I don't know. I find Callus Legs a lot more fun. <laughs> 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 the progression. It's so satisfying. Are you into running? I used to like go for a run every single night. Like it I remember like I would just kind of explore my neighborhood because I would never really go around on foot for a while but it would be like 11 p.m in extreme darkness and i would just run played like death cab for cutie in my uh on my spotify and I'd just go it was nice it was nice but there was one time i had gone a different route than normal i'm like you know what? i want to check out this different area i went down a road that is like three miles long and i didn't realize that there was like no um what's the word tributaries that's with a river. I don't, you know, like it'll break off and go somewhere else. It was just one straight line through this super dark forest that had no lighting at all. I had to use my phone to light the way. And that was like, I, I wasn't like petrified, but I had no signal. I didn't know where I was going. I'm like, am I going the right way? Uh, until like three quarters of the way through. And eventually I made it back. It's called a junction. Oh, yes. <laughs> Tributaries. <laughs> nice. Um, onions. Nice. You've done it. You've done it. You've done it. <laughs> Off-road path. Well, no, I mean on the road. I didn't know the word lime life. <clears throat> that was pretty scary. I'll be honest. Like, not being able to see what's in front of your feet. A little bit nerve-wracking for uh, for a pansy like myself. <laughs> Thank you for playing, Gurk. But it's been a while. It's been a long, long time since I've done it. And my my <sighs> stamina, I suppose, is pretty terrible nowadays. Like, even just doing, like, calisthenic movements with my legs. Like, a lot of it is just, like, jumping onto a higher platform over and over again. 
which is surprisingly tough on your legs, <laughs> at least for me. Like, uh, it's, it's very, very engaging to have to do explosive jumps. Right? But either way, um, I would be winded after like two two sets or so. RDM. I was thinking Romanian deadlift. I'm like that's that's not quite right. Bombardment, if you're thinking of as a prompt. EDM. Huh. So yeah, ending this in M-E-N-T -E is the way I would think about it first. But I can't think of anything that works for it. Embedment. Maybe that'll work. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad. Friedman? Oh, I see. Didn't mean to write anything. <laughs> I can't come up behind how people aren't scared to go into caves alone. I mean, I suppose. Like, your fear is that you can't get out and like, you'll break your leg and never come out. I don't like thinking of that. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty bad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone died to EDM, huh? Unfortunate. Um... So we were still talking about like channels and, and games that I could put into my Discord. So we, we have Diabotical, we have Apex. I think we'll try Bomb Party. If it's dead, then whatever, we'll get rid of it. Type Racer? Maybe? Maybe like Monkey Type Tribes, when that comes out, I'll consider making a channel. I feel like Type Racer is really fun when we get a lot of people going for it, but I don't think people would actually go out of their way to make a channel or like make a game for it. We're talking rooms. I still dislike discords that are like collectible roles i think that's kind of shit i don't i don't like discords that are based around that uh, kind of thing i don't like discords that are, have like a shit ton of bots that you like play hangman with all the time i hate those so <laughs> much and the gotcha bots are the worst awful awful mm. awful let's have a typing channel okay okay that's fair we don't need one for specifically type racer um we had suggestion monkey type works now it's good. It doesn't have multiplayer yet, though. <laughs> Me and Dan just chilling in general. VC join. We are lonely. <laughs> Gambling bots are great. I mean, too many is weird, though. Too many what? Channels or, uh, or bots? I agree with the channels thing. But I think my other concern was that, like, when people join the server and there's so many people involved and we're just having this random conversation in general, it's a little bit harder to, uh join into the like the flow of the conversation or just like the chats in general with the community because people don't feel like comfortable interjecting themselves and that's probably why we get so many people that don't have any social awareness is that they don't care about being like uncomfortable in social situations because they just don't know i probably wouldn't say anything if i were to join this discord as an outsider and that's probably something i should have accounted for earlier but if it's talking about something I'm passionate about, like, I don't know, typing or keyboards, I I'd probably hop in a conversation. I'm socially awkward, but not socially unaware, you know? At least I know when I'm awkward. I think that's a step above than someone who just joins and posts a picture of a corn dog. Art channel should come back. Okay, yeah, creative channels. That's another good, like, genre. I think we have channels dedicated to skills, channels dedicated to creativity. But then that kind of brings us to the question, like, what about the music channel? Like, I, I don't want it to just be people who are making music. I want, I want that to be a thing too. But I also want the music channel to be about sharing music because I think that's pretty enjoyable. Art channel plus I do see art as a skill. Okay, I, I can just throw it in the skills section then, I suppose. What else is there? Other creative skills? I mean, I have origami. I guess we could have a- f we'll try a food channel. If it dies, then whatever. I'll do it for Woogie. I miss that man. I mean, m music channel exists for sharing music right now. Not for, like, creation. <laughs> Although, I, if you put it in- like, if people were to put their own creations in music, I would be all for it. Add Q&A channels? No. Wiki gone. He sent me a, a, such a sweet DM, and it, it kind of makes me happy that uh, all my effort put into playing or like being a guild leader in Blade and Soul was reflected by how fondly people look back on that game. But he was like, you know, I've, I've been playing, um, 
Hey dude, just wanted to drop you some love. I was thinking to myself earlier about our days and super late nights playing BNS and I'm missing it. Simpler times for sure. And he's like, I, I met a lot of people playing Day Z, but it's it's not the same. <laughs> Makes me happy. I mean, it's, it's sad that we're not in, in that much contact, but. What game is this? It's called Bomb Party? It's not really called Bomb Party, I guess. It's called like Pseudo Dot Scan Brand. <laughs> Pseudo BP. Uh. Prompts that end in M can also be men, as in like fairy men here, or merry making, or. Well, that's about all I got actually. <laughs> Dairy man, there you go, there you go. Is that a term people use for like a milkman? I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> Sounds like a profession. Let's see. A man who is employed in a dairy or sells dairy products. So, so he sells them. He's not the deliverer. Yeah. So the dairy man is at like the top of the supply chain. And the milkman is the, <laughs> the delivery one. Yeah. Or oh, love the dairy. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry. <laughs> I laughed before I finished saying that. I think practicing accents would be pretty neat. Practicing like impressions. That's a skill I respect a lot. You know. But never gave it to try myself. <laughs> You could show off unrelated skills that you could have. I do want a uh, a general. Oh, this one's hard. Someone who competes in a lot of sports is called a. <gasps> he's done. He's done. He's done. <laughs> <She's> done. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. The cheese man. Oh, that's true. It's not just. <laughs> it's not just milk. The, the dairy man is below the farmers. You're right. I didn't really think about that statement before I, I said it. Practicing a language? You mean as a as a Discord channel or for me in particular? I'm not super interested in it myself. It is surprising how often I get recommended that though. I think that like polyglotism has a certain mystique to it that I've uh, and I just don't really care for. I guess. Like I I've gone down that road of watching these people that can speak twelve languages with each other, and I think it's really neat. But I don't know. It's not really something I care to do myself. Creativity and skillility. <laughs> I kind of like that, actually. <laughs> I don't know. What, what other creative avenues do we want to promote? I feel like art is such a, a broad... A broad genre that is good enough, right? If people wanted to post their stuff that's just like, like editing in the art channel, I'd be for it. I'd be fine with that. I hope we don't get any like art snobbery then. That would be a, such a pain to deal with. <laughs> God, yeah. Or maybe not. We just ban them. Okay. Prompt ends in R. What do we do? Got it. What if it prompt, begins prompt with R. What if prompt... Sorry. Begins with R. What do we do? Um. Oh. That's one way to do it. Super. What about if it ended or started with ER? ER. Um... Over. Oh my god. It's okay, it's okay. It's it's difficult. I've given you so much information. Uh, and recalling all of it is hard, but as you continue to see more of the patterns, you'll you'll start to pick it up. If we have an art channel, I will see how many people react to my dog shit art. You're fine, I'm sure. Ooh. Is this like Kudzu? I'm looking it up. I wanna know. Let's go! <laughs> Thanks for the sub calculator skills. I appreciate you. Andres, we, we got to set a date to play something together. If you're still here, 420 flays. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we got we got to pick a day and we got to send it. You know, interestingly enough, I mean, it's not really that interesting, but I've, I've had a, a Patreon reward um, on like tier three where I will give you a one-on-one -on -one lesson for any skill that I can do. And I've had, I think, three people in that tier over the course of its existence. And yesterday was the first time anyone actually said like, hey, can, I, can we have a lesson? I probably should be the one to like reach out and like ask, but it was nice, it was nice. I just talked about typing with him for like an hour. <laughs> it's neat. Hey, you do, Sporks. You're one of, you're one of the four. Never redeemed it. Yosh. 10 months hype. Yo. 
Fortunately, you're getting beat out by Maisel, who's got the 11 month streak. But, uh, I love you, Denna. Let's, let's play some PUBG. Let's get, let's get Wookie involved. You, me, Sefi, and Denna. So, and Wookie. <laughs> Sorry. That'd be neat. That'd be nice. PUBG sucks, though. I gotta say, PUBG, not very good. <laughs> I will play with the boys. Yes, Wookie does play. PUBG's actual dog? True. I think it's owed. It's <laughs> its age really shows where it's just so clunky, so un unoptimized in terms of like systems and movement and like gunplay <laughs> and like just about everything and like visibility. Oh, I play PUBG when we can get the boys on DBT because I can't get my boys on DBT. My boys are like Danafe and Sefi. They don't want to play real games. <laughs> I want to play BR looting simulators. I still need to try Diabolical. You do, you do. We've only played Apex the one time as well. Yeah. I'll destroy you in egg game. All right, buddy. Oh fuck. Uh, okay. Prompts that start with D. You can add add in front of it. Um. One 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 D. A D J. Uh, when when the court okay, <laughs> you just got another word adjourn yeah. Bring it, nerd. I will beat you with a tablet. Full stop. There there is zero chance you beat me, even if I'm using tablet, mm. in a one versus one scenario. I made a tier list of deli meats. Give me your S tier. That's what I want to know. Everything else, that's whatever. Where do you place? I want to hear the S tier as well. Where do you place uh, roast beef? Such a curiosity. I miss roast beef so much. That joint is work. Bring back the tablet FPS project. Honestly, I don't know what it is. It's probably my like scuffed grip that I try to copy from Cookie Z. That makes it so after like, like for the first hour I'm playing tablet, I'm like, dude, I'm sick. I'm actually insane at this game. And then an hour later, I'm like, I can't hit a single shot. This is pain. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, roast beef, roast beef, lunch meat one with its low sodium and high protein content. Roast beef is the best choice among the red meat option. It still has your 11% daily cholesterol intake, but it also has a fair amount of potassium and iron compared to some of the lighter meats. What the heck are you doing? Do you have like a, an essay for each meat and it's like pros and cons? Uh, Anti-vocalism, I don't think is a word. I think I just made it up. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> What is a tablet FPS project? Tablet as in like, like a drawing tablet. One of these. Um, and I use it to play FPSs. People typically use it for OS. No one really uses it for FPSs because they're not stupid. Opinion on spam? Oh, you mean the meat. Okay, that makes more sense. F tier? What is Sefi saying? What kind of heresy is he putting in chat? Roast beef F tier. What? what? I can't say the planet. Shit. Um. Uh, do the uh, element then. That. <laughs> Unlucky. Damn. You did all right. You did all right. We're getting there. We got some pretty hard props. Remelade. I have not heard of it before. I th I've heard of it from. Uh, I think the trip, but that's about it. Everyone knows mouse only is the best input method for Os. For Vickly at number one. He's real good. Who was the dude that was playing on his pillow? On like a laptop? Was that FG Sky? Salami has to be S tier. Really? Salami? I don't know, man. I, I don't... I've never had salami. You've never had salami? So TBA... Start with it out because uh, it's double consonants starts with T. Outback is like only way you're solving that unless you cut for you go for a compound. Salami so lame. Deli salami. Okay, I've never had deli salami. I guess that's fair. Salami is the worst meat on the list as far as nutrition goes. At 110 calories for just a one ounce, about three slices serving, 
It has some of the highest fat cholesterol and sodium of the lunch meats. Plus, like many of the meats on this list, it's cured. Several recent studies have suggested a link between the high daily consumption of cured meats and certain types of cancer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, he's going off. True, true. Like ju Judging meats based on taste is what I expected, as opposed to like health. It's still bad. <laughs> That's his review of the taste. It's bad. If I eat salami, I'll get cancer. True, true. The studies show. That's science, baby. Um, you got like 20 minutes until metagame. This time, I hope some people will hop in with us and, and watch that documentary because it's just, it's so good, bro. It's so good. Trust me, trust me. Even if you don't care about care about uh, Super Smash Brothers, competitive Smash, doesn't matter. Does not matter. It is such a good watch. Have Have you seen like cared about competitive Smash in the past? Um, I used to be into it, but I kind of lost interest after all the <laughs> stuff happened. Ah, I see. Fair enough. It uh, was way too overwhelming to keep up with. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess. A bit of a mess. They did censor out Zero in the documentary. A little heavy-handed, but, you know, it is what it is. That's true. If, if anyone unmutes at an untimely part of the, uh, of the doc, they're getting yeeted. Honestly, if you just talk about the documentary as it's happening, I'm not going to, like, delete you. But the person who got server muted for, for life... He was unmuting just a cough and then left. Oh my mm -mm. god. Mm -mm. You're gone, buddy. And there's someone else who just made a popping noise. Like, wh why do people feel this need to destroy the peace? Like, why can't you let just let things be? Aid? Would you go vegan for a month? Probably not. <laughs> that sounds like hell. Well, what would I... What purpose would that serve? Health. Yeah, but for like one month, what am I trying to prove? What's what's the end goal? Like, do I want to die by the end of it? <laughs> My sister had to go vegan for like health reasons, which was which was shocking to me. I would expect that vegetarian reasons were would be like a sufficient. Oh, this is such a good prompt. I love this. No, you have that word. I wanted to do a, a boy string? Bo boy, uh, boing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do piezoelectric. One month he'll turn to Clance Kennedy. It is shocking that he's like a muscle man and he's a vegan as well. You only get bragging rights. I see. I don't want to be that guy that talks about his veganism all the time. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's like the mouse only player. You gotta bring it up anytime someone talks about eating. Sorry, right, Flab. Vegan, by the way. <laughs> Craving attention, they're just that bored, but don't want to leave because C reason one. Yeah, you're not wrong. What, is that Danny Darko live? The Twitch affiliate with the Dan Pog emote? This is where you post it. The very uneducated takes on vegans. I, I don't think anyone is against like the actual veganism process. I don't I process. You know what I mean? Uh, or the diet. <laughs> That's the word that makes sense. The process. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, it's against the people who just want to talk about the fact that they're doing it all the time. It's like it's like mouse only. You know, I think mouse only is sick. But it's it's only when you're like using it as a justification for being mediocre and then talking about it every time someone brings up os. Many vegans are unfortunately educated about veganism. Wait, what about the keto diet? I think I asked about this a while back. It's like a trendy diet where you eat specific types of food to put your body into ketosis, and then that's how you lose weight without having to actually cut a lot. Um, and my mom is all for these like dumb new age diets. Like she, she did the paleo one at some point. She just trying keto and it, it didn't end up working. Strict no carbs? Keto is a meme. Either a meme or a legitimate medical procedure can lead to developing allergies to foods with carbs. Really? It's utter bullshit. 
Yeah, okay. My mom has some issues with the the whole skepticism thing. <laughs> You'll smell awful? That's your counter argument? Trend diet doesn't work majority of the time. Yeah. Just don't eat. Keto is like CrossFit of diets. <laughs> like, what's wrong with CrossFit? Is it actually something like pseudo scientific? It's terrible for you. Really? I, I don't really know much about it, to be honest. I'll take cancer from salami before I smell like shit from keto. <laughs> um, Holy shit. Do they not allow you to eat meat? I'm pretty sure you can. It can literally kill you. Okay, what is CrossFit then? And that's by design. Wow. I'll be honest, I thought it was just like some other form of calisthenics. You work out? I do, I do. Um, <clears throat> I had this really awkward situation the other day, and I don't, know, I don't want it to be too pol political, but I think it's uh, something the majority of us can, can agree with. <clears throat> but I was getting a haircut from uh, someone I've gotten haircuts from for a long, long time, and she and my mom we're having a discussion. Like she had the news on, wanted to hear about like the COVID news. Uh, and they brought up the vaccine, right? The, the COVID vaccine that's like in development, I suppose is a way to put it. And she says, <clears throat> there is no way I'm like sticking that shit in my bloodstream. You know, she doesn't want to get the vaccine. She's an anti-vaxxer. I don't think she brought up like any any side effects or anything like that but like oh uh oh, well, there we go but she said something like uh like this is my conspiracy theory i think that wh why is it that vaccines normally take this long f to come out like two years but this one was developed in only a few months it's because the government was the one who created the virus like bro <laughs> <laughs> you are doing yourself an incredible service or like it, it is not just your own life that hangs in the balance when you don't get vaccinated for a disease like this like that is is nuts you are putting other people at, at danger because of your ignorance funding yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> the urgency but I, I i didn't say anything you know i think there is nothing to be gained from uh from arguing that point like when when that came up i just sat in the chair smiled i'm like yep that's a conspiracy theory <laughs> you should have gone all in she's a nice person you know she's got her own problems to deal with oops my poor mouse has taken such a beating from all the times I've smacked her with a Bali song. <laughs> Everyone has their demons. That's a, I suppose so, you know? Um, oh my god. Hexa for XA. Pixart. <laughs> Sorry. No. Noxery? Is that a word? No, I don't think so. Hmm. I got nothing. Like, how is she going to survive not being vaccinated? Not her problem. Actually, it is her problem. <laughs> but that, that's her mindset, I'd imagine. This is the only time Bye, I smiley face. face! I hate when people do that. It's so sad. Yeah, like, the, the thing about having your own demons is that when it starts to affect other people, that's when it becomes an issue, I think. X-A-R. That is... Hexarchy. Or Exarch. Klaxon. No, my, my word did not exist. I apparently made it up. <clears throat> Can you actually define the word you type in bomb party? Not always. I know Klaxon from, uh, from QI. <laughs> Just stopping in for a bomb party game. Bye. See you later. Stream will be ending soon anyway. Calling ignorance a demon is generous. Yeah, I think... I mean, I already, I already explained my stance. 
it is frustrating because my mom is the same way as my hairdresser. And like, she's such a nice person. She just has a lack of skepticism that leads to um, believing that vaccines cause ridiculous things. Okay, KVO. KVO. Hmm. Milk Voth. McVoth. Oh, I'm actually nuts. Holy shit. That's the only word except for McVo and McVot. <laughs> Let's go. Insane in this game. My mom told me if I get the COVID vaccine, I can live under a bridge. Are you serious? Wow, that's crazy. How will she know if you get it? He's quite young. It probably would require transportation. Fair. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, when I talk to my mom about vaccine, she's like, oh, I've never gotten a flu shot and I've been just fine. I see this as completely different. And I'm like, okay, but what's the downside? And then she says, it's preference, whether or not I get it. I'm like, I don't know about that one. I'm not quite yeah. sure this really falls under the purview of preference when you're putting other people <laughs> at risk as well. It's bad. It's I'm not gonna defend her. There, there have definitely been some very like yikes moments, but you know she's she's a lovely person. I I won't hold it against her to to an extreme degree. And there's no point, you know, when people believe in their own baseless beliefs, you can't convince them otherwise. That's not something you can logic your way through. Oh, uh, Rotoden? Oh. No, no, no. Uh, Rombo? No. Uh, Photo Drive? Melodrama. Well done. Well done. That was a six off. All right. Don't die. Oh, I guess I could die. I have to end soon, stream soon anyway. Who's this guy with three hearts? Alcoa? Holy. Thulium? 1L? Believing your parents don't take vaccines and that hasn't, hasn't affected anyone is believing all those stories on the route your grandparents went to school. I'm not sure what you're going for there. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm gonna get this prompt. I don't know it. Oh, never mind. Flab is still alive. Let's go. Let's go. Whether <laughs> I fire my assault rifle into the crowd is preference. Like, like I said, there is no logic in the world that will get through to someone who believes in baseless things. Toe up. Nice try. Nice try. <gasps> Maneuver? Holy shit, that's oh. so good! Oh my god, you're nuts. Holy shit. I'm so sad I didn't see that. The stupid spelling of maneuver. Um, I don't have a W. I, I need to get a W to get an extra life. Could not get it from that, I don't think. Date-wise? I don't know, whatever. Come on, give me W. Uh, whiting. Easy, we live. People believe in baseless <laughs> things because they have a reason. I guess, but like, when, when I engage her in an attempt to like, can you tell me one reason why uh, you wouldn't get a vaccine? She has no answer. Bye, 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 Vuact. They think they have a reason. But then I ask for one and she doesn't have one. I think she believes... I guess you're probably right. You're probably right. <laughs> but he gave me eight minutes. Oh, shit. I'm not going to be able to finish this game. Do you guys type with wrist rests? Actually, okay. I, I got three questions. Or I, maybe I'll make a poll for this because uh, it is something I'm interested in. Hold on. I got I to gotta type a word real quick. Semitone. New poll. Wrist rest question or like ty typing posture response number one no wrist rest response number two wrist rest uh or like the first one is supposed to be like resting on the table on table and the third option is hover all right give me give me your give me your thoughts here <clears throat> Most people are going for resting on table. I feel like that's the worst option, to be honest. 
I feel like either That's you. That's what I do. Oh no! Don't you have to like angle your wrist upwards to type then? Kind of, yeah. People actually hover. I used to, or at least I I still do for the most part. I'm trying my old wrist rest. Like, I bought this from from like KBD fans for for twenty bucks or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hover brings me the most speed and accuracy. My problem was accuracy. I, I had issues like over the course of like typing for an hour or so, I would lose a lot of consistency with accuracy. These SI keycaps, how comfortable is that? I don't love them. I think they look sick, but for typing, they're like, eh, take it or leave it. Uh, elating, elating. No one uses wrist rest? Wow. I'll put my vote in for it. I misspelled wrist rest. Maybe that's why. <laughs> wrist rest. Right, right stress. <laughs> uh, that reminds me of when Sick Tannic came on and I misspelled his name for like a full hour. I remember that. Oh no. Embarrassing. Truly embarrassing. All my caps are SA3. That's probably better than SA Sculpted. Or is it? I don't know. I kind of like SA Sculpted. It feels nice. It's unique. But I do like the lower profile uh, caps. Okay, I think uh, I think we gotta end stream now, though. If we want to make it in time, because I, I kind of want to get some uh, some food, some popcorn. I don't have popcorn, but I I, I do want to eat something while watching. <laughs> Meta game is indeed live. Episodes four to six. Oh, uh, Arbalest, nice. Let's do it, boys. So again, if you weren't here earlier when I was talking about metagame, it is a, a Smash Bros documentary that is like mostly about the people more than the game. Like it just talks about the storylines and there's so, so many storylines. Like it is the closest thing a documentary will ever come to an anime, I think. <laughs> like it, it, the things just fit. It's just the plot armor is too strong and I want to watch it with the boys in Discord, if possible. We're probably not going to say much in, in VC, but uh, it's nice just to know like who's a... Uh, Who's watching? Who's watching? Yeah, yeah. But either way, thank you for watching this uh, relatively short bomb party stream. I do love streaming bomb party. I'll be honest. Like this, this is the, the easiest game to talk over in the world for me. And in, in this case, in this case, we actually focused on the game for like the first half of the stream, which is yeah very rare. <laughs> you get a Discord link. It was link? really fun having you teach me. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I, I just wanted to teach you, like content aside, <laughs> it's just it's just fun for me to teach things in general, and hopefully some people can learn from our, our conversations and such. Let's see, where's invites? Hold on, I, I gotta throw you an invite before the the, the raid happens. Discord. That good game. Shit. You got okay, this. I've done it. I've done it. There you go. There's the Discord. Oh, uh, oh, what did I just write? Repentable. This is a speed run. We've done it again. Thank you for watching. Relatively short stream. Um, we're gonna do it in, in public VC because people who don't have a sub can still watch because this documentary deserves to be watched by by everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.